It seems probable that once the machine thinking method has started, it would not take long to outstrip our feeble powers. They would be able to converse with each other to sharpen their wits at some stage, therefore we should have to expect the machines to take control. This was a quote from Alan Turing in 1951, who is considered to be the father of artificial intelligence. The study of mathematical logic led directly to his theory of computation, which suggested that a machine, by shifting symbols as simple as 0 and 1, could simulate any conceivable act of mathematical deduction. Turing proposed that if a human could not distinguish between responses from a machine and a human, the machine could be considered intelligent. Computer science defines AI research as the study of intelligent agents. Any device that perceives its environment and takes actions that maximizes its chance of successfully achieving its goals. Literally by the day, machines continue to get better, smarter and faster. And if this rapid improvement of machines continues, it begs the question, is AI going to replace us? Silicon based electronic devices process information about a million times faster than a human brain. The calculator on our phones is already superhuman in its task, of course a simple arithmetic calculator isn't going to take over the world anytime soon, nor will narrow AI, or to use the oxymoron term, dumb AI. But the exponential growth of artificial intelligence is undeniable, consider the game of chess for example, a millennia old game where grandmasters have devised countless theories of how to beat your opponent, and now we live in a world where AI has achieved total domination. Such is the case in the game of Go, where AI experts thought a computer couldn't beat a human at Go until the year 2100. AI is not only beating humans at games, but it's inching closer, field by field, to everything we care about. In the coming years, job losses will become a huge issue as is already being addressed by 2020 US presidential candidate Andrew Yang. In the foreseeable future, self-driving trucks may replace millions of workers. Many retail and consumer interaction jobs are already at risk. As an example, Baxter, which is a two-armed robot with an animated face, is used for simple industrial jobs such as loading, unloading, sorting and handling of materials. Baxter was designed to perform the dull tasks on a production line and it is intended to be sold to small and medium sized companies with a price of $25,000, the equivalent of an average US production worker's annual salary. Radiology may be one of the early easy pickings for AI as well. While a great human radiologist may recall thousands of images when studying a case, AI can process millions with far better diagnoses. Surgical robots are already being implemented. For example, the Da Vinci surgical system gives surgeons an advanced set of instruments to use in performing robotic assisted surgery. In the near future, robots may replace surgeons altogether with their superior efficiency. With the development of AI, we may see the spawn of autonomous weapons, which are a type of military robot or killer robot that can independently search and engage targets. These killer machines may operate in the air, on land, on water, underwater, or in space. The autonomy of the current systems, as of 2018, is restricted in the sense that a human gives the final command to attack, although there are exceptions with certain defensive systems. Another scary aspect of artificial intelligence is that it may spark an arms race for AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, which is the intelligence of a machine that could successfully perform any intellectual task that a human being can. With its vast data, it may be able to eradicate disease, cure aging, solve climate change, but also wage war.
The incentives for creating AGI are not aligned with our best interests, as an AI arms race could be far more dangerous than what we've witnessed in the Cold War with a nuclear weapons arms race. Even worse, the AGI might develop interests of its own that are not aligned with ours, a concept known as the alignment problem. And it doesn't take an evil AI to destroy humanity. If it has a goal and humans happen to stand in its way, that might be the end of the human race. As an example most given, when we're in the process of building a road and an anthill happens to be there, we don't hate ants, but we don't stop construction either. Some people have argued that even if AI destroys us, we will have created something far more beautiful, creative and rich in experience than us. But the assumption there is that AI will be conscious, and intelligence doesn't automatically equal to consciousness. These machines might become immensely powerful, destroy us, and yet they could be unconscious, with no subjective feeling of what it's like to be those machines. The lights could go out. Maybe the only alternative to avoid a digital apocalypse is to merge with them or become them. As the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them.